Okay, so today I am going to show you how to make homemade tater tots. So right here I have one large potato peeled and cut in fourths. And you'll need some oil for frying. A small amount of grated onions, that's about two tablespoons. About one tablespoon of flour, salt and pepper. And you'll also definitely need a grater. Okay, so the first thing you will want to do is parboil your potato. And basically what that means is um, you don't want to boil it till it's soft. You just want to boil it until it just starts boiling, just so the outside gets a little bit cooked. But you don't want to cook the potato all the way through. Once you see that the water has just started to boil, you turn it off and take the potato out. Um, probably about five minutes is good. I have the burner on high heat. Okay, so that is pretty much what you're looking for. At this point, the potato is parboiled and you want to remove it from the heat. And what I like to do is uh, dump the hot water and rinse the potatoes in cold water. And this will stop the cooking process. Okay, so at this point you want to be heating the oil that you're going to be using for deep frying. Also at this point, now you have your potatoes parboiled. Okay, so there's a couple ways you can go about um, turning the potatoes into the mixture that you're going to use for the tater tots. Um, you can put them in a food processor along with the onion. Sorry about the steam. <laughs> or you can use the large grater part right here like this. Um, I prefer to do both. So half I will food process and half I will grate with this size. Um, it just I just feel like it gives the tater tots a better texture but you can do whichever you like. Okay, so at this point I have my partially food processed potato and partially grated potato and I went ahead and added salt and pepper. This recipe is very flexible. You can add garlic powder, you can add um, like Mexican spices, you can pretty much put whatever you like. You can add parsley, um, yeah the possibilities are endless. I just went ahead and added my flour. So at this point you just want to stir it up. And I'll be right back and show you the next step. Okay, so I went ahead and put, sprinkled a little flour on a pan and went ahead and made some of my tater tots. As you guys can see, they're not perfectly shaped tater tots. Um, and that's fine because they're still going to taste delicious. Just practice a little bit and, you know, get them the shape you want. You can even make them round if you like. At this point, once you get the oil nice and hot, I like to turn it down a little bit so that you don't over brown the tater tots and at this point you want to just go ahead and put them in the oil and I like to do around four or five at a time and that's how that looks. I'll be right back to okay so this is the finished product of the tater tots this is pretty much what they should look like Feel free to practice and make them your own way and add your own seasonings, whatever you like. I hope that you guys enjoyed this recipe and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!